Let's start with another video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of a railing tool. And then we're going to do this by creating a stunning handrails for our balconies, staircases, and any other parts of the buildings. Rail tool lets you create any typical or unique railings. Just like the stairs and curtain wall tool, the railing tool consists of a sub elements made up of a main scheme and its components. For example, we've got the post, rails, and panels. And then these are GDL components that use material and custom profiles. I made a video on staircase. You should also check on it. Uh, I will put the link in the description or in the card at the top right corner. So you get better understanding of these tools. Without any further ado, let's jump straight onto it. Yeah, for this exercise, I've prepared these components as part of the GDL components for the railing. We have the main post here that is made up of a slab and uh, morph tool. And then this side is the inner post uh, components that is also made up of a slab and uh, the morph tool. And then we also have the profile. We created a profile for a top rail. Uh, check. And then its position from the origin point, it has to be 40. It's offsetting with around 40. Let's check. Yeah, 40. This is part of the design, guys. And then make sure um, it's going to be used with a railing tool. Uh, and then check on the 3D window. Um, the components. There we go with two components there, the main post, exactly how we're going to assemble our railing. Everything here is a morpho and uh, a slab tool. The inner, the inner post with two housing unit for the support of the glass and then at the top there is the uh, post for for accommodating the top rail we're going to start this exercise by placing the the railing go to rail two and then check on the favorites click on the first frameless um, railing then make sure it's an appropriate layer i'll choose the layer and then I'll pick something related to stay. Okay. There we go. Then specify the second point to place the railing. Good. Check on the 3D window. Yeah. It's a good start. Select the railing and then edit pick the top rail go to settings then make sure you change the profile to profile and then we use the newly created profile the handrail part click then uncheck the fixing Go to the 3D materials, and then we're going to override by wood material. Let's find wood there in the list. Pick one of the wood, wood, or pick the light. Yeah, this one. Okay. Perfect. I'm impressed now with the result. You can see the top rail there is offsetting. As, as like I said, it's part of the design. That 40 millimeters from the profile. Click on the panel, go to edit, change the segment top by 50, and then the segment bottom to 100, then 
horizontal offset make sure it's on negative 40 and then the left inner horizontal offset 72 and then the last one 72 this to accommodate the the joint between the panels and then uncheck the fixing then change the thickness of the glass material to 9 and then let's go to materials to override this funny material with glass find glass okay perfect yeah I'm impressed exit the edit mode we are in the floor plan to um, select the the inner post and save it as a GDL go to file libraries and object save as uh, post Make sure you create your folder there. I already have my folder. And then there's a list there of the GDLs. I'll call this one the inner post ST. And okay. Okay. Then go to the 3D window. From here, go to the settings of the railing. Under inner post, change none there to the newly created GDL. The inner post. Double click on it, and then check if it's everything is it's right. Yeah, I think everything. It's good. Hit on OK. There we go. Our inner post has been placed check if it's in the right position perfect no. yeah okay let's go back to the plane and then um, change the orientation or rotate it by 90 degrees and resave it again as an GDL object and then check what will happen save post the folder and then I'm going to replace the inner post save replace okay you see in case you can if you, you may encounter this type of challenges when you are dealing with these objects the orientation of the of the object before it's been saved on the floor plan it's it's very key to how it's going to be positioned in your railing so make sure you you check first how undo and then go back to and resave it again save replace okay go back to the 3d window the changes will be instantly updated Okay. <laughs> Feeling happy. It's coming out nice. It's coming out how I anticipated. Okay. Select. Edit. Select the panel. And then go to panel settings. And then change that to uh, any number we, we're trying to position it right in the housing of the the post it's going to be trial and error but you better measure so that you can input the right or the correct measurement there yeah put this one oh yeah there we go i think it's perfect Let's measure it again. Measure. Check. Select the panel. Go back to settings. And then input that. Okay. Oh. My God. <laughs> Let's do it again. Edit. 
to change i'll go for this one okay perfect ah uh, i think it's 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 okay i'm impressed yeah 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 okay Now the next thing is the um, the main post. Exit the edit mode, and then go back to the the floor plan. Then select the post. Make sure you don't input the glazing. And then let's save this thing as a GDL. Library objects. Save selection as post. Under the library, I'll call this main post st hit ok go back to 3d window let's place our post click on the edit go to post then change none to main post double click on the main post and then okay there we go our posts have been positioned you select and then um isolate the railing have a clear window to work with yeah yeah it's coming out nice it's coming out all right okay now let's let's fix the top rail let's fix this detail edit and then pick the top rail go to rail settings then um uh, cancel and then go back to real settings under real settings i want ends the ends treatment make sure it's on zero and then change it to the profiled so that we can use the same profile there we go and then change this one to the first one and then i'm gonna override the material of this is it's okay perfect let's change the the length of it to 150 and then okay good it's coming out nice thank you jesus uh, good it's good check this one if I stretch the railing everything will be adjusted okay go back to the panels Oh, sorry no I want the I want the, the the post the inner post change this to 1.2 the distance between the post yeah this way I'm impressed Da -na 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 -na. I think it's coming out right guys if you have any strategies or approach on this one um, share with us in the comment section there I will join you guys um, the next part I think is the last part is the you see this um, post we're going to create a mirror copy of the first post mirror copy and then resave it as a 
our main post too. I'll select it. Wait, wait. Then go to file. Main post. I'll save this as main post one. It's a copy of it's a mirror copy of the first post. And then save. Oh I already have the I'll replace. Okay, go back to the 3D window and then select the the railing edit and then pick the object to replace. I'll replace it with the main post one. Perfect. We are almost there. The last thing is the that ends. Let's select the end and then go to settings and then change the size to 150. That will be the last thing. Okay. Gudo, 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 gudo. Yele, yele, yele. Tlie, tlie, tlie. I'm impressed guys um thank you very much for your for your attention um i'll see you in the next video make sure you subscribe and like share our videos guys uh to keep us going thank you see you in the next video